Hey guys, Vigman here and welcome back to another episode of Let's Build Clipstead. Today, we're gonna be cooking with gas. We're gonna make the main tower in the middle of the castle as well as two of the main structures uh, besides it. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna really just take the castle to another level and it's gonna make Bjarnheim, which is the name for this castle, look fantastic. Hope you enjoy today's episode. Sit back, relax, and I will talk you through what we're doing here. So in the beginning you saw that we built the staircases up and then copied or stacked it, I guess, upwards so that we know where every exit will be for the rooms. This aligns perfectly with the feast hole and the things we did last episode. And then we're just using wools uh, to create the main structure and using brushes to paint it in. Uh, using this uh, white or light grey um, stucco to, to give it uh, this nice feeling of a castle. And then on top here you can see we have turrets on all the corners. So there's four turrets and then we're going to have a very steep spiked roof here in the middle. It's going to look super cool and really just give the castle that kind of tower feel. It's going to make it look like a proper castle like you see in the movies uh, and also creates a nice dungeon which is a top um, top floor, the top room in a castle like this. It's going to look super cool in the end. And then we're just adding some nice details around this thing here, adding some frames using um, some cool blocks here, adding some windows and you know, just creating a nice uh, overall detailed area on top of this tower here. It's looking pretty cool, I think, especially with the turrets, gives it a nice, almost a little bit of a fantasy castle feeling. And we're going to use a lot of wooden things, you know, the clothes hangers, uh, which is very overused on the Darwin Reforged server, but it, it just adds it's a nice detailed trim like that. Um, and overall just gives the top part a nice detail. And then we also added an exit to the top part of the feast hall and stuff like that. On the top of the tower here, uh, I want to make the, um, make it look like there's been a lightning that's just kind of blasted through the roof here, created a hole, made some burn marks, and as I've said before several times, the Norsemen are not the best crafters. So that is why they conquered this castle, because they cannot build this by themselves. So they have conquered this, and I tried to make it look like it's kind of falling apart and they don't really know how to fix it so that is why i created this hole in the top and um, just to kind of symbolize the way that the norsemen don't really know how to fix the castle itself living um so that makes sense looks cool and that is also why we have this very worn out uh worn out palette on the outside or um the texture is very worn out i guess and on the side of this tower here we're building a small building as well. This is going to contain a small bar. It's going to contain a meeting room like a council room. Uh, and then we're also going to have uh, just some small meeting rooms and stuff. Which is nicely connected up to or will be very easy to access from the throne room. Which will be built probably next episode or the episode after that. I'm not really sure. I haven't planned it out yet. Uh, and it has this nice steep roof with a little bit of a dormer on the side. Which just creates a nice feeling. And it makes the castle look more supported, make the tower feel more massive than it actually is. Uh, so that's pretty cool with this nice wooden dormer and then the roof supporting up to the castle like that. Uh, it's also gonna kind of nicely enter to... Um, <coughs> voice crack! I'm sorry guys. Uh, nicely into the, the tower when it comes to exits and stuff. Then we're doing the, on the opposite side of the building we just did, which is going to be uh, used for guest rooms, for guests entering or living in Bjarnheim, and also going to be a massive living room or a heart family room uh, with a massive fireplace, um, very just like a royal, very cozy, uh, very grand room uh, with some uh, guest rooms on top, and it's also going to connect to the prison down below. Uh, and also connect to um, some of the storage down in the um, beneath the, the feast hall and beneath the, um, the main tower itself here. It's going to look very cool. I'm going to show you everything in detail once we get there. Uh, show you how everything kind of nicely connects together. Because that is something I try to do them to make the layout or make the layout make sense, I guess. To make sure that all the hallways, all the entrances, all the staircases kind of make sense in a way. Uh, but also make it look like it's been rebuilt several times and give it a little bit of a history, if you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, this build here is very simple, it's just a very steep roof with the same 
very worn out palette on the walls with some windows and stuff and yeah we're gonna definitely show you the inside it's looking pretty cool and really i think it really just makes it look like it's been uh, conquered and it's kind of falling apart in some places here which is kind of what i'm trying to do here we are now standing inside the bailey of the castle looking up towards uh, the tower it looks very nice from down here uh, and i'm going to show you some of this so uh, my main idea is that the tower is reached by going through and uh, the throne room or um the great hall which is going to be here so you walk up the stairs here and then walk through here and then you would have to access this room or this tower here which is mainly used as a stairway a stair tower i guess uh, so there's going to be a lot of staircases going up here and then it's going to enter different kind of rooms on either side here so i guess the best way is just start here and then um or i guess maybe start all the way down let's go all the way uh, down down here is not done because i'm gonna uh, connect this up to some uh, underground uh, crypts and stuff I guess but down here all the way down you walk up here and then you reach um, storage room which I showed you and then this one right here the dark room and then exits out of the castle on the back towards the fort or the keep on that little rock um, then you can go up here then we have some storage just a small dark storage room leading out to this side to some more backyard areas here we have some chickens here looking pretty cool and then it's just leading further into the prison right here uh, like that and then it goes out here so this is kind of like a tunnel just going through the building and looking pretty fancy i'll show you that in detail later uh, but let's finish off with the tower here um we go up here again more rooms we have a kitchen here and then some the, the freezing room right there uh, we can go up here again this is where the great hall is going to be and then on either side there is rooms so i guess we can go here which is going to be the living room or the family room uh, which as you can see looks very nice and royal and nicely decorated uh, and this is definitely something that uh, the norsemen did not build but they took from the westers which lived here before them so they kind of conquered it and then just kind of like what they saw and just kept it i guess a nice fireplace to heat it all up and a big table here in the middle i think it looks pretty cool i like the woodwork in the ceiling here and yeah some armor stands and stuff i think it looks pretty cool let me know down below guys what you think of the style here because i have really been trying to improve my interior skills uh, for today's episode here we have like a small console uh room i guess where you can meet and chat and you know just discuss things i guess and here we also have a very nicely detailed um interior i really like that as i've said i really try to improve my interior skills or interior buildings for today's episode this one here leads out to the freeze hall which we showed last episode so we're not going to take a look at that just because i don't want to waste your time guys um here so this is above uh, the family room uh leads out to the guest room so as you can see here it's kind of falling apart the walls are not looking too great anymore uh, but it's still working um, here we have one room with a nice bed size here, some sitting areas and stuff like that. Very simple. And then we have another room here, which is a little bit simpler, but there's two beds perhaps for some kids and stuff. And also windows uh, leading out like that. Uh, I can go out here again. And then here is just like a lounge area, I guess, where the family could meet. Uh, I, I guess like they would um kind of lock themselves in as the family who who visited i guess and then kind of use them as a little bit of a, an apartment um here is the bar uh, i really like this here this is took or taken some inspiration from a uh, new schwarzenstein castle built by who is it built by i can't remember a builder on the server here so it's inspired a little bit by him but of course i've taken my own twist on it uh check it out you will find it on the server ask me if you need more details i guess uh, and then it's just like a small bar here so i guess they could come up here just take a drink after a small console meeting and stuff like that uh, or maybe after a big meal here again leads out to what we saw uh the tea room and then we have here it's uh, a small office uh for a guy i guess maybe the officer or something like that could sit here um or the general or something to just plan out his attacks and the defenses and stuff 
uh, in that room. Thank you guys for suggesting things to use that room for. Uh, going up here again, we can go out to the main master guest room. So this is the biggest bed, a great size, a nice ceiling height, a small seating area, nice views over the lake of Clipstead, uh, and then just generally some storage and stuff. I think it's pretty cool. But as you can see, the wood is kind of rotting away. It's kind of falling apart, um, which is inducing uh, the looks that I want to give this here. And uh, now we're getting towards the top here, but there's one more room on this side, which is just a small meeting area again. I guess it could be used as a small console room or just some kind of private meeting hall. And here as well, really try to improve the interior. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, yeah. And now we're getting up towards the top of the uh, the tower here. And this is where the Don John would be all the way on the top. Here is exit to this outside area here with uh, battlements and stuff protecting everything. Um, and then here we have a lot of painting. I just wanted to make it look uh, nice and royal, I guess. Uh, and some, some shelves and stuff. And then just a wooden staircase leading all the way up this bit right here which is looking pretty cool uh, it's the most top part of the castle the donjon which it's called and it's used for by the main family whenever they're not in the keep because remember that we have this keep i guess you can see it here no it's this window here i i don't know yeah you can kind of see it through there um but that's the keep where the family lives uh, but whenever they're not in the keep uh, they're here using this as their residence um, with nice big couches, sofas, uh, sitting areas. They have their own rave in here, a uh, small library to read. Um, I guess most of the Norsemen cannot read, but they kept some of the books from the Westers. Uh, and then just, you know, small areas to, to read and uh, write and play games and stuff like that. I think it's overall a very nice looking build. I think it's nicely detailed and gives a nice cozy feeling which is kind of what I'm going for um, so yeah I'm very happy with how this tower here turned out there you can see the keep and I think you can imagine why they don't want to go back and forth that hanging bridge and um, tow bridge there looks fairly scary to walk on uh, so I guess whenever they're over here they want to spend as much time here as possible um, now this is the, the last part we did uh, with the guest room and the family room and stuff so here we have the yard here, which leads out to uh, some storage here, uh, and to uh, the buttery here, and then the chicken farm, which also leads up to the battlements here, which is kind of nice. Uh, and also leads out through here, uh, when you get to the ch chapel and just main bailey here. And this has gates on either end, so you can block it to prevent people in case there's an attack. You can kind of block them to getting through here uh, with the skates here on either side and just added some vines and stuff. Just made it look all pretty and stuff and I'm very happy with how it turned out. Thank you so much for watching guys. I really do hope that you enjoyed. If so, make sure to smack that like button and if you haven't done it already, make sure to subscribe. It's been Vigoman and I'm out.